Thanks for joining me on day two. We're on our way to shoot a time lapse of the iconic Art Deco Central Market. Let me carry you through this section because the audio is truly awful, for which I do apologize. But basically, we're on our way to a nice viewpoint onto Central Market, an iconic Art Deco structure that was built in 1937 and at the time was the largest market in Southeast Asia. So this is the building we're going to over here. Wow, Wait, that's amazing. So this rooftop we're going to is in one of the government ministries. We're not sure if it's open to the public, so please only go on your own accord. That was uh, somewhat complicated. They made us go around to the first entrance. Now we arrived at the first entrance, they made us go to the back entrance, then the back entrance, and then just go to the front entrance, then they made us go to the back entrance, and now we're in. So the elevator only goes to the 20th floor, but I think this is 37 floors up. And the last couple steps, and it opens up onto this. <laughs> wow. So after climbing the 12 flights of stairs, you're rewarded with this incredible view. I would say it is really the best view in Phnom Penh. You've got the central market here, the Vatanak Tower over here, which is also famed for its really nice sky bar. However, I would argue that this is even a better view because you can actually see the Vatanak Tower from this view, which is another iconic building. So I'm going to set up my time lapse. So while I've got both my time lapses running in the back there, let me tell you how I first found this place. And it goes right back to the beginning when I first arrived in Cambodia in September 2020. And with my relocation to Cambodia, I had to get all of my goods shipped over from Dubai. I had previously been living and working in Dubai but I was traveling when there was the global lockdown and I got disconnected from Dubai. And I found myself stranded living in a tent in the Philippines, but that's a story for another video. I never returned, I've since never been back and Daniela had to ship over most of my possessions and to access them, they had to clear customs in Cambodia and to clear customs, they had to go through this building. So I spent a good two weeks running around getting different forms, completing templates and getting different stamps in all different parts of the city just to gain access to a couple suitcases of my clothes and some camera gear. <laughs> and I had to come to this particular building four times to get various different stamps. And on one of my visits, I brought my camera and I decided to venture upstairs while waiting for someone to stamp my form. And I discovered this incredible rooftop that gives a beautiful 360 view over the entire city. So let's go check up on these time lapses. <laughs> Okay, job done. And we are out. I couldn't get the long exposure time lapses, so I took a couple photos instead. I'm told the building is closing, so I am rushing to the exit before I get locked in. So the shooting part of the video is done. Now over to the editing and sharing part. That was a little bit stressful, felt a bit like guerrilla photography. I'm not sure whether or not we were supposed to be there, but you know, we're not shooting anybody. Well, I think that's a bit of a misnomer when it comes to photography. We were capturing the light, which is a fairly harmless activity. So now I'm heading straight home to get some food in me and to edit the video. So yeah, let's see how it turns out and stay tuned for day three. I have something quite interesting lined up for tomorrow. <laughs> a big thanks to anyone who's made it this far in the video. I will be posting more photographs on my Instagram and sharing more videos on my YouTube. So if you enjoyed what you saw, do feel free to check me out on both those platforms. Thanks again, and I'll see you tomorrow for day three.